Judith Arnold. I was waiting for you. Made from Hungarian to English by T. I. K. B. M. I. T. Catherine W. 11 T. T. S. Motor. In a small dusty American town, Dina runs into a former schoolmate during her vacation and falls in love with her. Chapter 1 First The tense expression that had caught Dina's eye during their last meeting disappeared from his face. He looked much thinner now than he had in school, when he was an elite athlete, or later in college, when he was a Heisman Award hopeful. Did you see that great fiddle player? However, this is unlikely to happen. Dina slipped her hands into the pockets of her white linen skirt and scanned the wood-panelled room. The two huge windows looked out onto the parking lot. Compared to the fact that it was a Thursday night, the bar was surprisingly busy. Three people were playing billiards, and at one of the tables were two young women. At the urging of her father, Dina Jarvis decided to visit her parents' house. It's hard, isn't it? Backslash. It took seven years for me too, and you are here for the first time since his death. There was neither disapproval nor reproach in Roy Jarvis's voice. Dina arrived already in the afternoon, and since then the homely, but somewhat worn-out interior with a facade decorated with broken plaster flowers, has not found its place. He lingered in the yard for a long time, breathing in the clean country air, caressing the gnarled trunks of the old almond and plum trees, pulling some weeds in the tiny kitchen garden and checking whether the seeds in the plate of withered sunflowers had ripened. Why don't you get out of the house for a bit? I just arrived, Dina answered not very convincingly. Roy ignored his daughter's objections. Dina didn't want to leave the old man alone right after her arrival, but she really needed some solitude to forget about New York. Why don't you pop into Tom Hilliard's bar for a drink? Backslash. But his father shook his head. How come? Dina drove straight from the airport to her father's hardware store in her rental car and stayed there with Roy and the two employees, Dso and Stan, until closing time. Backslash. Paperwork. When Dina inquired about Faye, Roy muttered some unintelligible answer to himself, then quickly diverted the conversation. What could have happened? Asterisk. Dina was still hanging around the bar entrance, watching Tom Hilliard serve his patrons. Can I bring something? I want an Olae, the girl answered. The small stature, nimble waiter? Looks like Tom Hilliard's turn is going great. Tom really couldn't be accused of being modest, but he didn't suffer from a lack of self-confidence either. Although he was considered handsome even when he was a student, Dina found him much more attractive now. Hilliard opened a bottle of beer and the waiter. Isn't it Dina Jarvis? She returned his smile and made her way to the bar, meandering between the tables. Hi Dina. The girl was touched by the friendly reception. Backslash. Backslash. What do you mean? Tom. Now, however, you could see that his posture was slightly hunched over and that he was dragging his left leg slightly. The girl still clearly remembered the day and the match on which the accident happened. Even when she was studying law in San Francisco at the University of Berkeley, 
Dina would occasionally skim the sports section of the Sunday paper to see how the previous, Z. After the final exams, Tom was signed by the Chicago Bears team. Mesmerized, he listened to the reporter raving about the new hope of American football. Then the angle of view of the recorder widened and showed the players of the Chicago Bears, who watched the scene in shock. Roy sent Dean a newspaper clippings about the accident. And now he's standing here in his bar without crutches or a cane, running tirelessly. Tell me, Dina. Backslash. Is that really the reason? Why, do you know anything better? Hilliard stared at Dina. As far as I know, big cities have always been dirty and crowded. Yes, somewhere in Southern California, at his sister's house. Backslash. The man watched her with interest. Your father is very proud of you, he remarked peacefully. Really? Backslash. I have no objection to your bar, Tom, but Dad should go somewhere where he can meet women. Who could you meet at Wheeler? Really, how is your wife? The man laughed. Oh, Tom, I'm so sorry. Tom shrugged. Backslash. Tom grinned. Tom? Duty calls, Tom regretted in a whisper and disappeared. So he's divorced, Dina thought. Dina lived with Bob for four years, and their separation often felt like a divorce. Tom was very engaged by his guests. Dina wondered if the Wheeler women were still as into him as before, or if he was lonely after all. What happened to Faye Hinkle? A Faye sign? Dina didn't answer, just shook her head in confusion. How long are you staying in town? I think I already said it. Backslash. Dina smiled condescendingly. I felt like I was suffocating. The rice fields in the area will soon be burned. Still better than the New York subway at rush hour. Then you didn't come home because of your father? What do you mean? Tom looked at her for a long time, then began to open a packet of pretzels. No, it's fine, Dina. Maybe I'll really stay? Dina tried to decipher Tom's strange look. Although they were separated by 3,000 miles, they never had any secrets from each other. Dina regularly reported on the cases when she won the case, as well as the cases when she lost it. Backslash. Which of us isn't? Backslash. Backslash. Good for you. Tom's situation is fundamentally different from mine, Dina said to herself. You don't like this rural life? Hey, what do you think? Just don't say you are a member of the Rotary Club. Hilliard laughed and shook his head. They really asked me to enter, but until now I said no. Dina was already out of adolescence, but she was sure that she wouldn't last long in this dusty small town. Tom might have resigned himself to his fate, but Dina couldn't imagine living here. At least that's how he planned it. Chapter 2 Nothing extraordinary happened at the bar. She really looked good. Hilliard felt sorry for him, but he couldn't help it, he had never been good at lying. He pushed the cash drawer and returned to the shunt. In New York, 
Many people are sure to turn around after dinner, because the dress fits her so well, her figure is impeccable, her legs are slender, is she beautiful? Hilliard would have liked to talk to Jarvis' daughter about New York City. Really such a monster? Dina was just cracking open some peanuts and her hands stopped in the air in amazement. What? Well, New York. Dina laughed. It really stinks in the subway, Dina answered her question. Is it really that dangerous? Dina took a peanut from the bowl and spun it on the counter. It is not advisable for a woman like me, who weighs only 54 kilos, to walk alone. I thought you were only talking about the subway. Yes, about that too. Tom nodded. So much of a monster? Backslash. Good heavens. We don't waste our time on pickpockets. Here you go. This figure kept opening the slit of his pants. Presumably it was there anyway. Backslash. Of course. It was about a woman who sold her child. And you proved his guilt. No. Tom could see that the recent events had taken a toll on her, so he tried to divert her thoughts. Backslash. Dina laughed bitterly. Of course. Backslash. No thank you. Backslash. Thank you, Tom. Backslash. By the way, I never thought that one day you would become an innkeeper, Tom, remarked Dina. He could imagine what was going through her mind. Dina slid off the high bar stool. How long do you want to stay in the city? Backslash. Tom followed her with his gaze. Hilliard wouldn't have minded staying. Asterisk. On the eastern horizon, one could vaguely make out the mountain range, where winding hairpin bends led through rocky landscapes and pine forests. If Faye Hinkle hasn't moved out of town, she is probably still living on Palmer Street. He finally made it into the office this morning. The tiny, windowless room was crammed with bulky filing cabinets and an old, metal-covered desk. Dina considered the fact that the Jarvis hardware stall still uses a pre-flood machine to do the bookkeeping as evidence of bad business. Dina felt embarrassed rummaging through her father's papers. When he ran through a few notices, including his gas and electric works and his phone company, he just shook his head. I don't know what your father would say if he knew you came in here. Oh, you're so. Backslash. Backslash. Yes, several times. And. Afterwards, he always smiled and claimed that they agreed. Backslash. So shrugged. I have nothing to do with this, Dina. But how much does it have to do with it? You think I don't know? Twice as much? I don't know the exact reason. Dina bit her lip. Well, fine. Dina drove the shop's truck slowly and carefully, because it was both taller and wider than a car. I'll be right back, a female voice was heard from inside. Yes, it's me, the girl answered and looked at the sympathetic, middle-aged woman. I'm good. Whose child is happy with all these things? Sherry Alcott, Nee Sherry Mullins' baby boy. 
Dina still vaguely remembered Sherry Mullen. He tried to ignore his grief and followed Faye into the kitchen, where a freckled little boy was sitting at the table munching on a banana. David Alcott, Dina Jarvis, Faye introduced them to each other with joking precocity. Dina stifled her laughter so as not to encourage the little one to do more mischief with her, then she turned seriously to the woman. Faye. Backslash. No thank you. Faye frowned. What did your father tell you? Backslash. Did he really do that? Somehow Dina wasn't horrified by the bad news. Can you tell me something more specific? Faye went to the sink to get a sponge. That would certainly take more than a few minutes, he warned the girl and wiped the banana stains off the plastic tabletop. Should I come back another time, when you're better at it? Backslash. Dina sat down next to Faye on the porch steps, from where they could see her wheeling eagerly up and down the street. When did the problems with the business start? Backslash. Dina understood that this hurt Faye, because she only wanted to help. The problem was compounded by the fact that some farmers in the area had financial problems, the woman continued. Why did he fire you? No. I know, Faye. Daniel took a turn too sharply and fell on his head. I can't say that this job is much easier than the one I did for your father, the woman remarked when she put Daniel back on his bike, but at least I have some credit here. Asterisk. If I go out for a run early enough before the mid-morning heat, I might be able to cover a mile in nine minutes, Tom mused. Running in the afternoon is unpleasant because of the heat, but at least then you won't meet other joggers who you have to greet and who pass you by without any special effort. Are you driving along the railroad tracks alone on this busy afternoon? It was almost half past three. The man smoothed his sweaty hair from his forehead and fixed his gaze on the sandy ground. Roy Jarvis came to the bar mostly on Friday nights. When he looked up, did he see you around the corner? He was panting, his face was distorted, but he managed to beat the locomotive. If he hadn't been focusing on keeping his balance, he would have instantly realized that the leg belonged to a woman. Dina Jarvis rose from the shadow of the tree. What are you doing here? Me? No way. Then why are you running right now? Because. Don't tell anyone. What? How sorry you are for what happened to my leg. I never thought of such a thing. It sounded so right that Tom believed him. So what did you want to say? That you are truly admirable. You shouldn't have said that either, replied Tom bluntly, and he immediately realized that it sounded quite insulting. She looked at him steadily. Don't be so sensitive. The man acknowledged the criticism with a short nod. All right. Dina was at least six inches shorter than Tom, so she had to look up to him. Backslash. Tom didn't believe him. Do you also run at home during the day? You mean in New York? Really? I wasn't under such a mental strain there, the girl answered. Tom didn't expect such an almost confession. Hilliard would have preferred to reassure her that whatever her secret was, 
she could confide in him and that he would never pry into her private affairs. Backslash. Do you run fast? Quickly. Compared to me. In anyone else's case, Tom would have shunned the company and, on some pretext, continued his journey in the other direction. Backslash. Dina gave him a fleeting, uncertain smile, and then walked beside him on the dusty road. Neither of them spoke for a while. You knew, didn't you? Tom glanced down at him. What? That my father's business is on the verge of bankruptcy. Yeah, right. How did you find out? Huge. I'm a bartender. It's only natural. Dina? I'm your daughter, but I need to know from Faye Hinkle and So Dunbar what kind of difficulties you're having. Backslash. Dina was breathing raggedly. Chapter 3 Dina would not have thought that he would let himself go. It never collapsed even in times of crisis. Even before Bob, the girl always appeared strong and calm. Tom is not a close friend, not even a woman, and he probably doesn't understand her at all. Backslash Tom reluctantly let go. Backslash. But me, yes. No matter how you figured it out, your father is really having serious problems. Backslash. The man looked at Dina in surprise. Backslash. It would have been hard for him to describe the feeling that came over him in his former realm, although the nursery had been rearranged since he had moved. He looked up at Tom. We should turn back, the girl said nervously and stared at the ground with her head down. Lena has a key, besides, we never open before four. The heat was raging in Wheeler, but Dina found jogging here much more pleasant than in New York, where she did laps in unison in a hall. You know what I mean? Dina gave him a suspicious look. Don't you just want to give a couple of good tips? Not good advice, Dina. You mean just the two of us? Would you rather have a class meeting? So it would be some kind of meeting? The man was still smiling, but his brows furrowed. What does that mean, Dina? Backslash. What objection do you have against him? Life in New York is also full of milk. I know your father, and I know that he would gladly agree if you wanted to spend your evening with someone else. It's not about that. Then what? That's not even the reason. She focused on running for a moment, hoping to collect her thoughts. On the one hand, he was surprised that Wheeler's former idol was interested in Dina Jarvis, the ambitious intellectual, and on the other hand, the indisputable fact that Tom fascinates him did not let him rest. He came home to relax from New York. Meet an extremely attractive, handsome? Just tell me one thing. Backslash. Oh, I understand. Yes. Who talked about feelings here? Dina was embarrassed that she had explained too much about Tom's invitation, but she almost wanted to stay. You're talking about dinner, and I'm talking about having had enough of men for a while. Yeah. Dina smiled. Backslash. So four years, the man mused aloud. No, 
we weren't married. It took four years for him to realize he didn't want to marry her. Would it take me hours to explain? Tom jogged silently for a while. Then you can only be glad that you got rid of him, he finally spoke. Backslash. I just meant that. You're right, Tom. Tom looked at her. Do you want to cry some more? No. I don't remember exactly anymore, the man answered. But why? We? Your knee? Mary Jane and I met in high school, we got married right after the final exams. And when you weren't anymore. That's when the trouble started. Dina had never heard anyone speak so beautifully of her estranged wife. In the meantime, they reached where the girl had left the store's delivery van. Shall I take you home? The man shook his head. I'd rather run. Dina watched Tom. Backslash. 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 Well, fine. Dina and Roy arrived around eight. Roy has put on a few pounds in recent years. No one would have dared anyway, Tom had already taken care of that. Lena. Hey, because Jarvis is a regular. Backslash. Although Tom was tirelessly hurrying from one end of the room to the other, mixing drinks, stuffing bills into the cash drawer and making fun of the guests' jokes, he tried to keep an eye on Dina and her father. Backslash. Yes. No. That girl? I also found him to be a bit young. Backslash. His daughter? Exactly. Backslash. Tom followed her to the Jarvis table. The first. S. R. N. toured the construction site, providing Tom with ideas for tiling, lighting, and sourcing furniture, and never took a cent for it. Grace Jarvis calm, determined N. At Grace's funeral, Tom goes to Roy. Isn't Dina crying? Dina gave her father her full attention. When Tom glanced back at them, Dina and her father were already standing up and talking to Lena. Tom heard her and had already finished the beers by the time Lena reached the counter. Would you take it off for a moment when you've served the gentleman? The waitress nodded and brought out the beer. Can you come for a minute? Dina followed him outside without saying a word. How are you? Their fingers interlocked and Dina looked up at Tom. And your father? He was a little bullied, but I think he's relieved. The girl's fingers were thin, her fur was velvety soft. What are you doing now? His small affections didn't seem to bother her. We will review the accounting at the weekend, because we want to prepare the balance sheet by Monday. Backslash. The bank will probably reject our request, the girl remarked sadly. Tom gently placed his index finger under her chin and turned her face towards him. No matter how busy you will be, you still have to have dinner on Sunday, he reminded Dina about the invitation. I'll probably lose my appetite by the time I chew my way through that many disgusting papers, the girl tried to joke. The veiled rejection made Tom sick, but he didn't show it. I wish. Chapter 4 Dina had no dreams. 
He didn't even close the curtains before going to bed, the cool night air. He wasn't bothered by the light. Before? He was still awake, tossing and turning in bed, his conversation with his father running through his mind. At first, he thought that they would hardly be able to talk about anything important in that noise. Dina felt responsible, but Roy didn't want to go into it at first. The reason I didn't tell you about my financial difficulties is because you have your own problems, he explained. Backslash. Come on. Backslash. This is all my business, Dina. Of course. And what can you do to help? Actually, he had to prove his father right. He was never particularly interested in money. He was saddened. The head of the credit department is a certain Ed Garcia, Roy revealed over his second glass of whiskey. Your creditors can't do anything about it, remarked Dina, who was shaken by the news of the bankruptcy of the Ambrose family. I don't blame anyone, emphasized Roy. I won't let you down, Dad. Don't start again, my child. I'm not stupid. Through the open window came the plaintive meow of a cat. Feel free to stay here in Wheeler for a while. He's going to call the state's attorney's office and announce that family reasons require him to stay in California longer than planned for a week. Muriel will also be watering her flowers at home and emptying her mailbox. You can have a good conversation with Tom. Is Dina on fire at noon on Saturday? He walked out of the store in blinding sunlight. Getting a pocket calculator seemed like a good excuse to leave the store, get some fresh air, feel the warmth of the sun on your face and bare arms. Hi Dina. Dina smiled. What if people hear your father? Backslash. After Faye disappeared into the store, she hurried down the street. The rents in New York have grown by leaps and bounds, though. Dina had a lot of work. And what does your social life consist of? All that being said, what Faye Hinkle said was not silly at all. Dina walked into the stationery store somewhat refreshed to buy the pocket calculator. The sun burned hot, the relentless heat, which was so different from the steamy, sultry heat of New York, dried out Dina's hair, the strands poked her bare skin like pricks. Tom didn't seem to mind the heat. Dina suddenly remembered how wonderful it was to snuggle up in Tom's arms, to feel that she was safe and that he would protect her from everything. Tom went to a car waiting in front of the jewellery store, turned to his friend and said something to him. How different here than in New York. But he wasn't in New York now. Hi, Tom. The man immediately turned back. Hi Dina. Good. Tom motioned for her to go over to him. Do you know my brother-in-law? It dawned on Dina that Tom had a sister. Backslash. Is the lady trustworthy? Tom measured her from head to toe with feigned thoroughness. More or less. Backslash. Backslash. How brilliant. That was before inflation, Tom joked. Backslash. Backslash. Did Dina just have a lot of self-control being in the shop window in close proximity to Tom? Backslash. Backslash. 
backslash will you wear buy the chain and tell him to wear it only at home mark grinned lustily as he imagined the scene you are monsters you men interjected dina although she guessed that it was just that how can we spoil the surprise that's a good question dina thought mark snapped her out of her thoughts backslash tell the kids i'll drop by tomorrow all right dina turned to tom who looked at her with penetrating looks so you're an uncle he remarked cheerfully that's right backslash why I don't know anyone who has been married that long. Well, yeah. Is Mark from here? No. Dina pursed her lips, hoping Tom didn't notice her embarrassment. I didn't hang around, he protested. I just thought. It still is. Backslash. Tom looked at Dina sympathetically. New York may be bigger than Wheeler, but if you think about the many criminals and street criminals you have to keep out of every day, there aren't many people left with whom you would like to be friends. Backslash. Tom immediately called out to the slim, poppy-haired server who was standing behind the counter. Hey, Thelma, look who's here, Dina Jarvis. Good day, Tom. Well, thank you. Good, as good as a person can be at my age. Yes, too, the man answered and led Dina to a free table standing in the doorway. Maybe an ice cream cone, too. Did he really say that? Tom, on the other hand, was amused by it. Shut your mouth. Do you drink it with sugar, bug? Yes, and without milk, she nodded. Backslash. 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 Oh, you're welcome. Dina stirred the sugar in her coffee and laughed softly. Now at least I remembered why I ran away from Wheeler. Tom nodded in understanding. Clear. Dina thought of the calculator in her pocket and the pile of paper in her father's office. Backslash. What did you come up with? Rather not. Tom nodded. Backslash. Really? They grew up in completely different circumstances than us. Intellectual golden boys to the core, remarked Tom. Not all of them, Dina defended them. So they are not like us, unsophisticated country folk, Tom concluded with a sarcastic laugh. I didn't say that the people here are rude. Tom had never heard of it in his life. Oh, yes, the famous artist. She frowned. It must sound grandiose, but I'm just trying to explain what people in big cities are like. So you learned a lot from each other. That was so. Tell me about your other friends too. Dina took a sip of her coffee. Is Suzanne Allman a well-known film actor? Who? Backslash backslash i think it's more than that tom looked at her quizzically but rather swallowed the question that was already on his tongue be careful tell me dina what actually brought you to town i just came to visit she answered uncertainly and how long you stay for a while yeah. 
backslash further than I originally planned. Will you have any difficulties with your boss if you stay here longer? So far, Dina has only asked to stay for a few days once, when her mother died. Backslash Why don't you give up your job in New York, why don't you try to get a job here? Really? The smile faded from Tom's face. From nine o'clock this morning, it really looks like that. Dina was surprised by his sudden change of mood. Forget it. If you were burdening me, I wouldn't have asked you. Yes. On it, tell me. Tom gave him another doubtful look, then shrugged. About a year ago, a badly pinched kid wandered into the bar. Dina closed her eyes. Tom, who immediately understood his fears, took the tremors in his huge palm. The boy is fine, as well as I am. Backslash. I think it's a complete impossibility. Who is your lawyer? Settlement. Backslash. Tom laughed heartily. Listen here, Tom. Have you ever been told how beautiful you are when you act so self-consciously? According to his own view, his performance has not been so, to use Tom's words, self-conscious for a long time. They are fighting if I were you, Tom, and I'd make sure I win. Chapter 5 Tom had noticed many times to himself how pretty Dina had become during the years she had been away. And he considered this woman exhausted, almost burned out. His life almost cost him, but he didn't regret having the courage to try. However, Dina was not his lawyer. At the time, Tom did everything to protect the boy and the bar. Of course, it would be more convenient to enter into a settlement than to enter into a lawsuit. Backslash Are you running this afternoon, Dina? She shook her head. Backslash After saying goodbye to Thelma and exiting the cafe, is Dina still at the bar? Tom no longer remembered him. When he wanted to invite her to dinner last night, he did it more out of friendship. Still, he didn't want to repeat his invitation to dinner one more time. They soon arrived at the hardware store. It doesn't hurt if you are a little optimistic sometimes, the man remarked cautiously. What do you mean? Well, yeah. Dina's expression softened. What is this, a reproach? Tom laughed. No, not at all. Dina. Dina paled. What's wrong, Dad? Dina. Tom didn't quite understand why Faye Hinkle's visit upset Roy so much. Backslash. He's moving out of Wheeler. Are you leaving here? Yes, actually, I don't know if your decision is final, right? Tom glanced at Roy and at Dina. More or less. Dina stared at her father for a moment before bursting into loud laughter. Tom frowned. What's so funny? Dad. Backslash. Dad. Do you really think so? He likes you. Faye Hinkle? Of course. Roy pondered his daughter's words, but then just shook his head. You're a good-looking middle-aged widower, and Faye is a pretty middle-aged widow. The man raised his hand in protest. Roy thought. 
Do you want me to prove it to you? Well, he visited me quite often. All right. But... That's it. Backslash. Extremely helpful. Done. Jealous. To Tom, this assumption seemed plausible. Roy looked confused. Backslash. All right. Dina smiled at Tom. It's fine, it's fine. Backslash. Tom glanced at his watch. By this time, Roy had already returned from the office. I asked Faye if she would come to dinner with me tonight. But he'll get to it tomorrow night. That sounds reasonable. Backslash. Tom glanced at Dina. First of all, let's talk about what kind of aftershave you should use. Asterisk. As Dina added up the long columns of numbers with her pocket calculator and wrote down the total, she reflected on her behavior towards Tom. I shouldn't take it all so seriously. In addition to the current low income, paying the rent is also a problem. If a man has to choose between paying off his debts or buying groceries, he will naturally choose the latter, and any decent man would rather invite a beautiful woman to dinner than pay the gas and electric bills. Dina didn't want to spoil her father's meeting with Faye, even if the business was on the verge of failure. Sooner or later you have to face the inexorable reality anyway. Chapter 6 Even on working days, the office of the Jarvis hardware store had a rather gloomy atmosphere. His father offered to help him prepare the balance sheet, but Dina insisted that Roy prepare for the evening meeting in the afternoon. So Dina sat alone in the office, trying to ignore the shadows cast by the languid sunlight and the eerie creaking of the floorboards. When the phone rang unexpectedly, he flinched. Sighing, he picked up the receiver and spoke with mock dispassion. Here you go, Dad. As soon as he said it, he knew it wasn't his father on the other end of the line, as children's squeals, the sound of a TV and laughter could be heard in the background. He didn't find it, Dina. Tom? The man immediately answered the unspoken question. I tried to call you home, but your father said you went to the store. Dina smiled, very pleased at Tom's call. He's terribly nervous. Backslash. Yeah. Hilliard immediately offered an explanation. I thought that since you are alone today, you could come here to my brother-in-law's estate in Princeton. Dina didn't answer right away. When she was silent, Tom added. This really can't call me. Thanks for the invitation, Tom, but unfortunately it's not possible. And in his heart, he would have gladly said yes. Well, yeah. Dina's fingers clenched tightly around the receiver, as if she could hold him. Backslash. As soon as he said it, he realized that such an invitation was much more risky than... Backslash. Not necessary. Then I'll bring a drink with me. Asterisk. Tom knew that Dina was particularly fond of Olympia beer, so he brought her a carton. Come in. Ha. Huh. I made a popsicle, the beer will be divine, the girl looked gratefully at Tom's gift. Nothing happened. Dina bit her lip. But Hilliard didn't mind. Can I help you? 
backslash is something wrong dina backslash tom was pleased with the almost answer just not because of me me how do you hear me after all the stupid things you have done for him come here and smell it save your cheap tricks for others majestic dina tried to explain her behavior i have never cooked for such an athletic football champion i had no idea how much such a miracle bug eats i haven't eaten as much as i did when i was an elite athlete for a long time anyway i think you look much better now than before yes about 12 kilos you obviously don't regret the good old days the girl leaned back in her chair tom shrugged no i don't regret it anymore dina pulled away if it wasn't for the bank loan maybe everything could be fixed really unfortunately i have no idea about retail should you oversell them because they take up valuable space and you can sell quickly instead dina stared at him in surprise how do you know such things listen after all i'm also an entrepreneur i know that in a business it's fundamentally important that the goods are suitable his blessing backslash really the man took another dose of pop the bank loans is the bank willing to extend the loan i do not know with ed gutter what did you do backslash john thorp has not the slightest idea of backslash u 200 b backslash u 200 jurisprudence how you have to make sure that he has no chance of winning the lawsuit and that he would only be wasting his money i would like you to be my lawyer you seem to have forgotten that i live in new york backslash but i have to go back soon couldn't you get it she smiled at tom's stubbornness certainly backslash you know that's impossible let's make a deal dina dina pondered the offer I don't know if that's a fair deal, Tom. Backslash. Yes, we are. The girl looked at him gratefully, with a warm smile, and instinctively hugged him. Tom held her close for a moment and kissed her hair. You drink a coffee? Yes, welcome. However, he was startled from his thoughts by the moaning coming from the door. Backslash. Backslash. Too early. What a speech. He grabbed Dina's wrist to prevent her from poking him in the ribs again. How do you know? Backslash. Are you so sure that Mr. Fay? Dina saw that he was merely teasing her. Faye Hinkle is an honest and lovable woman, and my father? Come on. What are we talking about, Tom? I'm talking about sex, said the man in a calm voice and took Dina's hand. Me about friendship. Backslash. Don't make fun of me. On you? This conversation was getting on Dina's nerves. Tom? Backslash. Before Dina could realize her intentions and resist, Tom's lips were on hers and his strong arms wrapped around her. Backslash. Dina looked mesmerized into his dark eyes. 
There's no way I'm going to have an affair with Tom Hilliard, she thought. He read the unspoken question in Tom's shining eyes. He cupped Dina's face in his hands, pulled her head close, and kissed her again. Tom took the opportunity to slide his tongue into her mouth. For a crazy moment, the girl felt as if warmth and strength. However, this was an impossible wish. No, Tom. He hesitantly let her go. Dina took a step back, knocking over the coffee cup on the tray. Backslash. Come on, nothing's broken. I don't mean it. Dina. She understood that he didn't mean the spilled coffee. Short time? No, but maybe you'll kiss me again, Dina thought worriedly. Backslash. According to them, you are constantly thinking about the future? Dina wondered if he was taunting her again. Tom shrugged. Even a short relationship can be very beautiful. However, I am in such a way that I either throw myself wholeheartedly into a relationship, or not at all. I didn't say that. I don't want to open a debate about my unpleasant experiences. Well, fine. Dina trusted him more than she trusted herself. Cups in hand, they went into the living room. Are you sitting well? Aside from Dina's heart pounding wildly every time she breathed in his pleasant scent, she settled down comfortably. Backslash. You don't think I'll tell you my secrets of seduction? Your seduction secrets. Tom stroked her arm lightly. Backslash. We agreed not to bring it up again. It's not about him, it's about why you take everything so damn seriously. Backslash. Maybe I don't understand, Tom thought out loud, but according to your description, New York City is full of boring, dry people, squatters, criminals and mothers who sell their children. Dina immediately wanted to object. Backslash. Yeah. No. She has her two children, whom you spoil so much. Exactly. Backslash. I don't think Muriel is particularly interested in this. And you still dare to call me your friend? Don't you have to all the time? Sure. Dina considered the veiled criticism and nodded. You're right. Why is your friend moving from New York? Did her husband leave her an apartment building in Chicago? And you still want to stay there? New York is my home, she remarked simply. Backslash. Dina stared wordlessly at a watercolor painting of a ranch on the wall that her mother had once painted. Backslash. Dina had to laugh. This time the rattling sound from the door was not mere imagination. Dad. Hi, Tom. Don't bother me, Dad. Good. Backslash. Dina didn't want to bombard her father with questions. Naturally. Dina waited until her father closed the door behind her. Well, what do you say, Tom? Tom nodded. Popping into the store is not the same as going somewhere together in the evening, the girl remarked. Your father is not the pushy type, Dina. Backslash. Backslash. You think? The man stood up. Backslash. 
At first, Dina wanted to arrest her out of politeness, but Tom was right. How would you like to cry on Tom's shoulder? Tom didn't follow. Tom lingered in front of the entrance. Backslash. Dina was glad that Tom had chosen such a mundane topic. I don't find the sky to be such a monster at all. Backslash. Backslash. Tom looked deeply into her eyes. I absolutely have to go jogging tomorrow. Backslash. Even if it's hot in the afternoon. Even. Tom hesitated for a moment. When did you go to the bank tomorrow to speak to Edgar? In the morning, but the exact time is not fixed yet. He will negotiate with you, said the man optimistically. Dina frowned. I have to admit, I don't think it's quite right for you to interfere. I won't interfere. She laughed to herself. Well, all right, Tom. Great. Chapter 7 Dina was wearing the same outfit she'd worn last Friday or when Tom tripped over her foot while jogging, an oversized cotton sweater with the sleeves rolled up, shorts, white socks, trainers, and a terai cloth headband. Would Tom have liked to kiss her in this place and not just here? Tom started the engine and drove in front of the Jarvis house. So you went to the bank today? She nodded silently and stared out the window of Tom's car. What did Ed say? Backslash. At the edge of town, Tom slowed down, drove carefully across the tracks, and then stopped his vehicle at the bottom of the embankment on the edge of the footpath. Of course he's in bad shape. That's not news for a long time. No, but doesn't it really lift you up? If you hear this statement from the mouth of a money-hungry hyener, who also has it in his grip? Tom laughed. Do you want to warm up before we go? Backslash. Dina smiled wryly. Garcia still threatened to initiate legal proceedings against my father's business. Backslash. It certainly seems so to me and Dad. Slow down with the body, Dina. Do you doubt the girl? I think I also want them to get their money, Dina admitted annoyed. Tom gave a short laugh. Backslash. That if my father wants to extend the loan or change the terms of the loan, he must first submit his ideas in writing. Backslash. Dina looked at him in astonishment. That's exactly what Ed Garcia said. Yeah. And did he mention to you that he will ask us for a reorganization plan? Yes. What do you mean? No. Are you sure you can come up with such a plan to save a hardware store, Tom? You will be surprised how similar the two are. I'm sure there are people who manage to get away without debt. Backslash. You mean you listen to the kind of company management? Yes, for beginners. Backslash. What did you actually think I was at school? Backslash. A thousand thanks, the man remarked with mock insult. Backslash. According to them, it wasn't my great perception that dazzled me, teased Tom. Come on, Tom, who noticed that with you? So was that how Dina saw her? Who are you? The only reason I was a good student was because I kept studying. 
So Dina thought she had everything falling into her lap. Do you think I didn't even have to move my little finger to succeed? She was surprised. Really? Besides, if we're talking to each other, I was also a teenager. Dina's jaw dropped. I always thought that there was only one person on the entire globe who never felt insecure. Tom snorted contemptuously. Look here, Dina. No. Of course. If you had asked me out on a date, I wouldn't have kicked you out, Dina remarked. Not true. That just happened. I must not be so attractive anymore, right? You are much, much more attractive now than you were then, Tom. The man stared curiously at Dina, who was staring at the road in front of her. Maybe Tom really just wanted an adventure when he invited her to dinner a few days ago. In the distance loomed before them the old oak, whose bent, gnarled branches reached over the road, and on which Tom used to measure how much his time had improved. Let's blow ourselves out for a moment in the shade. We can have a little rest if you think, Dina agreed. I do not want you to leave. Tom himself was surprised at how much he had gotten used to her presence. He didn't know exactly what he wanted from Dina. He won't berate Dina or make her feel guilty if she leaves. Dina's protest would have been mere hypocrisy. Did you already kiss so well at school? Almost be. Um. Yeah. Dina clenched her fist, but he parried the blow easily. Don't you think we should continue jogging? A faint smile appeared at the corner of the man's mouth. Stop. Why is the difference so big? Backslash. If it lifts you like this. If that's the case, I'd better stop now, he warned himself. Let's talk about your court case instead, she suggested, trying to interest you. Rather not. But this is important. Backslash. Dina started moaning involuntarily. Oh, Tom. Backslash. Well of course it was good. Let me. Don't. Tom didn't pull his hand away. It's really like when we were in school. Did Dina sense what was in the comment? Backslash. You see, I believe that. Tom? He is not. Sobriety has always been one of my virtues. I'm not sure it's such a good feature. Oh, Tom. Tom's eyes fluttered for a moment, but his gaze showed an unchanging affection. For a second, Dina thought she saw pain on his face. Do you know what you are, Dina? Don't tell anyone. You may be hypocritical, the man commented with a smile. Backslash. Tom laughed slyly. Wasn't he excited a few minutes before that maybe another part of my body would stiffen? Keep your overheated body parts to yourself. Backslash. They started running along the rails again. Dina wondered if any of the locals had seen them. From this point of view, life in New York is more undisturbed. Being lonely in a big city is not the same as living in seclusion in a small town behind the back of a god. When Dina entered the bar around 8.30, there were still unusually few customers. During dinner, 
Roy said that Faye Hinkle asked him to help him move the kitchen chairs. He wanted to talk to Tom again about the litigation tonight. Just the thought made Dina hot again. The man stood with his back to her, taking stock of the liquor. Good evening. Good evening. Oh, no. Yes, thank you. Hey, Tom. Dina wondered if Lena Murray and Thelma from the cafe were friends, or if curiosity was simply something the waitresses had in common. Tom may not have wanted to develop a serious relationship with Dina, but the blind man could see that he was happy to have her visit. Hi Dina. Dina went to the shunt and sat on a high chair. Just give it to me and I'll do it for you. What did you mean by that? Tom filled Dina's beer. You know I'm interested in you. Are you used to other female guests as well? Tom seemed amused by his question. Backslash. Yes, Dina remarked and took a big swig of the beer. Yes, also. Backslash. Yes, I would be happy about that, the man snapped. What idiots. Tom pulled away. If they absolutely want to waste their money on this boy who wants to litigate, I can hardly make them think better. If you can prove how good your chances of winning the lawsuit are, they will immediately favor you. Tom searched his memory with a frown. It's been over a year now, Dina. And what about the waitresses? Do you remember that court case I told you about? Lena nodded. Did you see what happened that night? I think I was off duty that evening. Backslash. Backslash. Who is Rosal Gorman? He worked for me for a while, the man answered a little sullenly. Maybe you could ask him to come to Wheeler? Was he with Rosalie? Backslash. Backslash. In this case, you should personally go to Lake Tahoe and simply shove the document under his nose for him to sign. At least four hours to Lake Tahoe. Dina shrugged. Then you spend the night there too. Great idea, Dina. Chapter 8 I really don't know why you brought it with you. Tom watched the road tensely. Ever since Tom decided that he had to accompany Lake to Tahoe, to his former waitress, Dina kept trying to find an excuse to get out, but to no avail. Not that he didn't want to give Tom some good advice. As soon as the oath is obtained, does it replace it? However, she was afraid that she would have to travel alone with him to Lake Tahoe. For the past few days, Dina had come up with every excuse she could to avoid having to travel with him. Backslash. You're right, hotels are expensive. At you? I have a small weekend house in Lake Tahoe. However, this did not calm Dina at all. According to Tom's reasoning, however, the important thing is not whether they spend the night together or not, but whether she trusts him. I can't touch you even if you want to. So Dina left with him and now he had this knife sitting next to him in the car. Tom brushed wind-fuzzed hair out of his eyes and returned to Dina's earlier comment. You're accompanying Lake to Tahoe to get Rosalie to testify, which could be important in court if there's a trial. Backslash. For the occasion or, once. Backslash. 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 
What makes you think I'm unsuspecting? If you're so afraid of me, we can even find you a hotel somewhere. I'm not afraid of you, Tom. Even my countless conquests. What's so funny about that? The smile disappeared from Tom's face. Backslash. Dina looked at him thoughtfully. The man kept his eyes fixed on the road. I bought it shortly after I met Mary Jane. Tom's stance in favor of homosexuality could have really calmed Dina, but her nervousness did not subside. And why did you choose Lake Tahoe? Why couldn't I have chosen Lake Tahoe? Do you still ski? Tom snorted contemptuously. Dina's gaze traveled over his body, down to his feet. If someone can jog, surely they can also ski, or not. Backslash. Why not? Dina. I tried once. Backslash. Wouldn't you like to try at least once? What should I prove to myself? Tom no longer talked about his injured knee in that belligerent and dismissive tone he had used before. Then why don't you sell the house? Why should I sell? Doesn't the knowledge that you can't ski anymore make you sad when you're there? It really made me sad for a while, but not anymore. Such as... Tom gave her a shielded look. You mean outside of making love? Have you listed your needs below? No. The road slowly led out of the Sacramento Valley and gradually ascended to the Sierra Mountains. As Dina sprawls around them, perhaps Tom has learned to get by with what he is given. Tom was still looking away, seemingly oblivious to Dean or watching him intently out of the corner of his eye. He liked it even more now than he had then. The unfortunate end. Asterisk. Tom really spoke lying among the mountains. Mary Jane wasn't as enthusiastic about the house as. Are you upstairs? If you run a beer bar, you always have to be friendly, you have to laugh at jokes and you have to mingle with the guests. His summer house was his refuge. At first he didn't mention his weekend house to Dina at all. Did Tom stumble along the bumpy road that led past cottages and up into the forest? Dina immediately jumped out of the car and inspected the alpine pattern structure. Well, Tom. The man was worried. Amazing. Tom showed him. The girl waited for a while and returned with her hair combed and her lips freshly painted. Backslash. Tom also retreated briefly to the bathroom. I'd like to offer you something before we leave, Dina. Not at all. Backslash. What do you mean? The man tried to collect his thoughts as they got into the car. So he gave a brief account of what had happened between him and Rosalie. To Tom's surprise, Dina took his announcement quite calmly. Dina was clearly in her element when it came to work. They crossed the invisible line that separates California from Nevada, and soon they turned into the parking lot of one of the largest and oldest hotels in Lake Tahoe. Backslash. Tom found the touch of her delicate fingers extremely pleasant. What? I've never been to a casino before. Well, open your eyes well then. Asterisk. Dina was visibly impressed by the huge, sumptuous game room. 
Tom watched in awe as Dina was dazzled by all this. Does that surprise you? This is still nothing compared to Las Vegas casinos. If this is not life here, then I will avoid Las Vegas by all means, replied Dina with a laugh. Looking for Rosalie, Tom made his way through the tables and made his way to a man at the end of the room who was enthroned in a tuxedo and button-up shirt by a blackjack table. He looks so bossy. There were also many people next to the dice and card tables. Even now, she looked as delightful as when she worked for him. There is. Dina stared at her for a few seconds. Rosalie was collecting the chips left on the table. It is strange that we meet here, he commented warmly. Hi Rosalie. Rosalie shuffled the card with practiced movements. Do you want to get in? Actually, no. A favor. Backslash. In a court case? Before Tom could reassure him, the man in the tuxedo approached them. Is there a problem? Yes, maybe. Dina snapped hastily and immediately skillfully led the room away from the table. Tom watched how calmly Dina explained to him. After waiting for a while, Dina waved at him. Backslash. Tom looked at Dina in astonishment. What did you say to him? She smiled mysteriously. That we need a written statement from Rosalie, and if we don't get it, we have to subpoena her. A lawsuit? You don't have to take what I said so literally. You will surely win in court with such cunning moves. Backslash. Rosalie stood in the doorway, staring at Tom. You look good, Rosalie. Oh, just wake up. Tom tried to swallow his annoyance. Stop it, Rosalie. Why, what do you prefer? This is not true. Backslash. Tom was leaning against the door frame, listening to the two women. Do you still remember that particular night when all this happened? Of course I remember. Did you order a drink? What is that? So you didn't ask for your papers? No. Dina quickly turned to Tom and he nodded in agreement. Is Tom hurt? Who is he? Dina took notes. Could you even prove this under oath? This is the plain truth. All right. Tom was still standing in the doorway. He was grateful to Rosalie for telling the truth about what happened last July, despite his resentment. Apparently, he managed to win Dina's trust only to the extent that he is willing to spend the night under the same roof with her, because he knows that she will not rush him. All right. Backslash. Great. Not at all. Backslash. Backslash. All right. Rosalie exchanged a few words with her boss, then went back to the blackjack table. They got into the car and he started the engine. It was quite easy, wasn't it? Backslash. The man drove from the parking lot to a grocery store. Backslash. That's an understatement. Listen here. Backslash. Tom wanted to shake it. Backslash. Dina left the decision to him. Backslash. Backslash. But when she looked into Dina's eyes, 
she knew she hadn't heard wrong. He took Dina's hand resting on the filing cabinet in his palm. Backslash. Rosalie and I were interested in each other for a while. Please spare me the details. Tom felt Dina's hand clench into a fist in his palm. Rosalie kept saying that I was once the idol of the town. Dina looked at the man with interest and seemed to believe every word he said. I can't stand it when someone jumps around because 15 years ago I was considered a big man, Tom continued. The man sighed. Backslash. Yes. You might have hurt his feelings. Tom laughed bitterly. Looks like you managed to survive. Backslash. You should have told me all this before, the girl scolded Tom. Backslash. I would have come even then. You coped with the task very well anyway, praised the man. Yes, Dina really did act big. Interrogating witnesses has always been my strong point. Tom would have loved to list his other great qualities so that he could hug, kiss and thank him for each of them individually. Come, let's get something for dinner. Chapter 9 Dinner was eaten on the terrace, roast beef, fresh salad and red wine. Dina helped with the cooking, but Tom prepared most of the food. Maybe Tom is acting so casually because he's not really interested in me, Dina thought. Ever since Tom told Rosalie. Fortunately, he was able to quickly overcome this feeling and immediately regain his composure. He was angry with Tom. He was trying his best not to let Tom know how much the mere suggestion that he might have been having an affair with Rosalie freaked him out. Tom told me how he used to spend his time in Lake Tahoe. As the sun sank behind the mountains, the trees cast longer and longer shadows on the terrace, and Dina began to shiver. The lake is the most beautiful from the balcony, remarked Tom. Dina went up to the bedroom and almost stubbed her toe because the space between the slanted walls and the wide bed was so tight. Dina didn't mind the crisp evening air. Just look at the moon. Backslash. Tom also put his elbows on the railing. Here among the mountains, I have never seen the moon like this before, he remarked. Backslash. Yes, the man nodded. She didn't dare look at him. Backslash. Tom. I want you. He caressed her hand with his thumb, emphasizing his longing with this gesture. Backslash. There was something irresistible about the way he said it. He forced her to look into his eyes. Tom lifted Dina's hand and kissed her palm. The man's words echoed in Dina backslash. Yes. Tom kissed her forehead and smiled. The man gently ran the tip of his index finger along the neckline of Dina's blouse, while touching her bare skin. Backslash. I don't think you're that old at all. Are they just lustful? Backslash. He could see in Tom's eyes that he was enjoying himself. Backslash. I know. If I had planned ahead, I would have prepared for it. It took Dina a minute to realize what he meant by that. Backslash. Tom's tongue eagerly entered her mouth, playing with hers, sliding along her teeth and the inside of her mouth. Oh, Dina, how tempting you are. 
She slipped Dina out of her blouse, unbuttoned her skirt, and let it slide off the slippery silk of the jumpsuit. Do all New York lawyers wear such wonderful underwear? As far as I know, men don't. Tom gently ran his hands along her breasts, the curve of her waist and the curve of her hips. Backslash The way he said those words turned Dina on as much as his hand running down her skin. She felt that Tom's next touch would make her completely lose her mind and give herself to him immediately. Dina once imagined his figure while jogging, when his leotard stuck to his sweaty skin from running. Did the man follow Dina's gaze all the way down to her navel? Terrible, isn't it? From the man's expression, Dina understood that he was afraid that the sight of his injured leg would dampen his passion. No. Backslash. Backslash. It seemed that Tom liked this comment. How did I not realize this by myself? Dina had to laugh at the idea. What were you actually thinking when it happened? Stroking Dina's hair, shoulders and back, the man told her that at that moment he was not thinking about his injury and its consequences, but about the result of the match and the missed victory. But then it immediately became clear to me that my career was over. Tom's voice sounded calm again. Love me. The man needed no encouragement. Dina's body responded violently to his caress, and it only added to Tom's arousal. The man finally lifted his head from her breast, but only to kiss the other. Oh, Dina. No. He lifted his head to look her in the eyes, not sure what she meant by that. The girl gently ran her hands along Tom's strong shoulders, arms, ribs and finally his stomach. Tom stared at her movements. Do you know what you are doing? Backslash. Exactly. Backslash. After an excruciatingly long minute, Tom's fingers finally reached their destination. The girl could no longer think, only feel and wish. Yes. With a slow yet firm movement, he complied with Dina's request. Where did the man raise his hips, where did he push deeper? Backslash. Dina would have liked to answer him, but she gasped for air and suddenly pressed her lips to his shoulder to stifle her cry. They lay still for several minutes, legs crossed, hearts pounding wildly. Stay. They didn't say a word for a long time. Alas, since Tom didn't ask if I loved her, Dina was suddenly struck by the realization. He ran his hands through Dina's silky brown locks. In vain Tom had just whispered, backslash. Chapter 10 The well-known backslash. Tom felt wonderfully alive and strong with Dina. He glanced cautiously at Dina over the rim of his coffee cup. However, the way she accepted Tom's good morning kiss made it clear that she wasn't in the mood for it. Tom put his cup down on the table with a firm gesture. But he couldn't do that. If a woman had ever asked him for something like that, he would have killed her for it, no matter how much he loved her. Would you like another coffee? No thank you. Tom leaned on the counter and looked at Dina. What are you going to do instead of the oath? As soon as we get back to Huilei, I'll type it up, send a photocopy to Rosalie, then get the signed copies to John Thorpe. 
backslash. Dina stared at the man, but did not answer the comment. Backslash. Is once enough? Is Tom snooping again? Backslash. Tom stared after him. Nah. Soon everything was packed up. Asterisk. When Tom dropped Dina off at her father's house at one o'clock, she did not find Roy at home. I'm working tonight, the man remarked with a forced smile. Backslash. Tom didn't move for a moment, then kissed her cheek and hobbled back to the car. In the bedroom, right next to her parents' wedding photo, her father's message awaited her backslash. Dear Dina, Forgive me for only now answering your letter, but in the meantime I've been through a lot, my mother visited me, I attended a black magic course, I almost had a run-in with the law, don't even ask me what happened, I know I don't care anyway and... Dina laughed softly. Dina let out a deep sigh and suddenly tears welled up in her eyes. Tom only wanted one night with me, she thought. Dina slipped the letter back into the envelope. She no longer shed tears because of him, that wound has already healed. He showered with hot water, got dressed, crouched on the threshold of the front door and stared into nothingness. Or he could get out of Tom's way, revise his plan for the hardware store, negotiate with Ed Gutter about the debt settlement, and if all went well, he could be in New York by the weekend. Dina crouched sadly on the steps of the front door, folded her arms on her knees, staring at the dried grass and the fruit hanging from the neighbor's fruit tree. Did the sky hit your nose at the same time? This cycle is amazing. One near you? Well, how was Lake in Tahoe? What was it like? We obtained the testimony of Tom's former server. You fulfilled the order, Roy declared proudly. Her father's casual remark hurt Dina. Really? Dina nodded. Did Faye cook you anything last night? Yes. No thank you. Nothing? Well, who's with him? Roy stopped eating. Just? Yes, something is not quite right between us. And we? I don't know, baby. Oh, daddy. Backslash. Love can't be planned in advance, Dina murmured. You know, there was that certain spark between me and your mother. Can I take your car? Roy seemed surprised by his daughter's sudden travel fever, but he immediately handed her the car keys. Where are you going? Backslash. On the way, she stopped the van briefly on the bench to think it over. Dina Jarvis, Manhattan Assistant State's Attorney, prepares to pull up to a bar, throw herself around the owner's neck, and ask him if he's up for it. She was ready to give up everything she had ever dreamed of for a man who only asked her for one night, who never talked to her about love, never promised anything. On the other hand, she lived for four years with someone who always mentioned love, can you imagine anything? And would you really give up so much by returning to your hometown? In fact, his pride is the only thing he gives up. Dina started the engine again and drove determinedly to the bar. Asterisk. Four young men were playing at the pool table. Good evening, Dina. Backslash. Yes. Dina waited by the shunt. 
Tom appeared with Lena in the corridor without waiting. Hi, Dina. What hit you? Hello. Tom wiped his hands on a towel and surveyed the girl searchingly. If you need me, let me know. How are you? This is officially the almost confessional table. Tom pondered her words. So we want to talk openly with each other? I hope so. Tom pulled his mouth away in amusement. Do you always scare your witnesses like that? Please, don't joke. Backslash. Dina took a deep breath. Backslash. Dina. No, don't interrupt. Dina reached for her glass exhausted and took a long swig. Can I ask you a few questions? Dina was thankful that Tom wasn't smirking. You said you wanted to move back to Wheeler. To my father until I find something else for myself. Would your father have any objections to you moving back in with him? What does Tom want to punch? Frankly speaking, I think he'll be awfully pleased with it. Backslash for two. I think every child needs a separate room. The man was ten steps ahead of Dina. Tom, you already have a divorce behind you, he noted soberly. I know very well what I'm talking about. That's right. You put it on two shoulders, Tom felt sorry for himself. Dina squeezed his hand. It doesn't hurt if you know, the man continued, it doesn't happen to me every day that a woman. By the way, I bet I'm not the first. Backslash. Was the girl surprised by Tom's voice? I love you, Tom. Oh, of course. Yes, I felt it. Dina answered and returned Tom's kiss. Backslash. The end.